you know, later today I will explain the graph of our framework and use it to solve a very interesting banking financial problem that is called as financial liquidity risk analysis and I will demonstrate it through a live code also. So now let us start. In the graph of our framework, I already discussed about this five stage pipelines and all the algorithms like how we generally progress in graph of our process. So first part is like a seed proposal. So we generally start with some rough ideas like why the scenarios are like this or which are the most triggering points for those scenarios which may be the best suitable thoughts to start. So we will start with those few thoughts as a seeds. Then hypothesis refinement. We can use some database evidence, time evidence, and LLM driven refinement to increase, improve those hypotheses. Next we will grow like how the things are related with each other like that. So we will grow like this. And then evidence winding. So we will connect like uh, we cannot just say that okay we can uh, find some some hypothesis based on previous things. We we need to connect with some evidences also. So that, so that we are doing. And then multifaceted story to add any of the thought process. We first check that whether it is valid according to the existing. Uh, data or scenario or not. For that, we are using multi-preceded scoring instead of just single scoring process so that we can get the maximum accuracy. And next is the base, best path selection. So finally, uh, we will use the best path selection process to get the best answer. So we are using beam search with, with six in our approach. So now let us start. Here we have some very important key terms. I have just covered these key terms only in defining the financial crisis and solving the problem related to banking financial crisis. There may be some other terms also that you can use. These are sufficient terms to start. So first is the STM loss ratio. So it is like how much the bank's long term investments have lost the value. If it is high, then the bank bought a long term fixed deposit bonds that are now worthless. So you can consider the predictable scenario. Deposit outflow rate, like how fast customers are taking money out of the bank. High outflow means many people are withdrawing money. Another is like a deposit concentration. So it is like how much bank depends upon a small number of big customers. For example, if a few big customers hold most of the money, then it's very risky because if they leave, then bank will be in trouble. Next is social chatter intensity. So this is the age of social media. So how much social media people are talking about the bank online? like it news, social media and negatively. If a lot of negative noises are there, then it will cause panic situations among the customers and they will start withdrawing as fast as possible. Next is LCR. This is known as liquidity coverage ratio. So we can, uh, in a very layman term, we can understand it like a bank's emergency water tank of cash. If it is higher, then the situation will be good. If it is goes low, then you can consider the scenario that bank has less water to survive in a drought situation. And the next and last is OOD or regime shift. So this is also very important. It indicates like a patterns of behavior which is very unusual compared to the past means banks past behavior or with respect to other banks which are similar to the given bank. So you can 
consider or understand it in a very layman term like a student who always scores 80 but suddenly starts getting either 30 or 100 so in a both way it is a weird situation so now we will use those things and try to understand that how our system that we had developed actually creates the graph of house so first of all the system reads all the data analyze the data and apply the graph of house strategy to solve the problem so as i discussed first of all we start with the seed so here we have taken two seeds seed one and seed two so seed one is like a duration risk and html loss rising so HTML loss, HTM loss rising means how much banks long term investment have lost value in a given duration. And second series regime shift and OOD behavior. So regime shift means you can understand that what is regime shift or OOD behavior. Like how the bank is behaving peculiarly in a given scenario and in the current case it may be like a negative because the data is indicating some financial crisis is going to start now let us start with seed one and expand it so we are now in the expansion process so we will check that what are the possible expansions possible based on the with the help of LLM. so in the expansion process it will add two new things so adding two new things means it has already esteem loss ratio like banks investment are already losing weight and if we add two more things like deposit flight and uh, deposit outflow rate then you can understand what is going to happen so deposit outflow rate means customers are taking more money out of the bank and deposit flight means means uh, some of the depositors like uh, concentrations are reducing so it may also create a negative impact in the cash crisis of the bank so after that we will test it it is working fine with the evidence and the data so we will check and finalize so now till now here we are current now we can think that what are the other possibilities so we find that if we just uh, use consider the HTML loss but ignore the deposit flight means we are considering that okay people are not uh, taking money quickly so we are ignoring that still it is uh, giving some indications that we are on the right direction we are getting some more than threshold value so we can add successfully add this in. now we will expand this part so this part we add some another thing like social chatter intensity that we added with the help of LLM and with the help of data evidence and LCR pressure that new things are added like liquid coverage ratio is reducing and social media intensities are going negative so these are the additional things added it created a serious problem in the cash flow after that we got some final explanations that why means how the things are developing means uh, how the things are developing in the banking scenario based on that we can give the warning that okay take the immediate uh, steps and solve this problem and how to solve this problem that we will explain and from here also this is a weak variant till here if we don't consider this part and this part then we can also generate some of the solutions here so this is another solution so this is solution one this is solution two and here also we can get some solution 3 now we will get to the C2 so C2 we find that regime shift OD and uh, we find that okay deposit outflow rate if we connect deposit outflow rate with this then again it will indicates uh, the represents the scenario with a score greater than result so it will add one part we just uh, consider the OD behaviors and uh, 
like no clear key flags then still it may generally reach uh, to some solutions like uh, suppose we say the solution for now we will extend it uh, then we find that uh, a regime shift uh, so we can add some lcr so here you can see that lcr means liquidity coverage ratio that we added with all these and we find that it is again giving the some solution so it is solution 4 so it is solution 5 again we can solve it some another way also like uh, so again uh, this itself can give some solutions also so we can say that okay this is solution so based on that we have multiple solutions and after that we will try to get the final score for each of them like what is the score so suppose we got the highest score in this case and we are at the stage that we cannot increase our large language model query cost because for each extensions we are going to the large language model LM query and it increases the cost so if we reach our cost threshold this is the highest score then we will stop here and after that we will apply some critic check in this critic check we can do a lot of different different kind of checks like whether the solution provided by this scenario is justifiable through some given score some given surroundings some given rules even if we don't have the exact solutions we can also use llm as a judge after that we will get the all solution path so here the solution path will be 1 2 3 and 4 so this will be one of our solution path so this is defining one of the solution so this may be another solution 5 like 1 to 5 but this is not a very high score solution so we can ignore it but this is giving good solution so this way the graph of thoughts problem graph of thoughts based strategy solve such kind of scenario so i have just solved to it in a very simple way but you can increase the complexity by adding more number of features more number of dynamic features static features more number of other instances you can increase its complexity now we will go through some of the scoring formula that I have used in our code. 48% waste to coverage, tall vector, maximum 1.6, we are taking temporal concordance, we are taking 18%, simplicity, we are taking 12%, domain pair 12%, relevant plausibility, we are just taking 10%. So based on that, we are calculating the score for each of the threads now let us try to understand the entire scenario to code so in the current code i have used uh, grok api and i have used the llama 3.18 billion instant model it is all free so you can uh, take the free key from the grok and you can run this and uh, here you can see that uh, i have prepared the synthetic data for the bank so esteem loss ACO, deposit concentration all the fields that i said for that i have randomly created some data set uh, just to explain the scenario uh, in the real case you can take the original data set and after that uh, the other things that uh, some flags or weighted coverage i have added that is discussed in the definition so LLM helpers like uh, how we have designed the prompt, different different prompts like uh, which can help in adding 
uh, some new thoughts so this is discussed here so here you can see that how it is joining everything is joining these all process are related to adding new thoughts checking that defining them and ex expanding it now we are going to the got graph of thought explainers and critics this is like uh, we are checking that whether our extensions and things uh, thoughts that we are adding whether it is correct or not so entire code is uh, well i mean uh, documented so i think uh, no need to go into very much step so i think it is very easy to understand so that's why i am just giving the again we are using bootstrap matrices that i discussed earlier like how we have evaluated everything so here you can see that how we calculated the scores and then we calculate how the we calculated the critic score and then how we are doing the llm revision llm driven proposal or refinement of the and adding the new thoughts so for this we are using the llm prompts here so you can use it and then this is the main controller which runs the graph of thoughts like uh, seed selections to extending of thoughts to uh, calculating the scores and then finalizing the path so it runs everything so finally now another thing that we added like uh, we try to print the graph of thoughts architecture like how the system solve the architecture we can uh, display it through the uh, like uh, graph to a graph we summarize the schema so this is the main function and i will share the code so that uh, you can easily run it so when i run this you can see that uh, now when you see the result you will find that the system run through multiple iterations took the some of the initial seed hypothesis then calculated all the things and then added all the llm requests and based on the llm request it generated all the responses and based on the responses it finalized the story and then identified that based on the two hypotheses as i discussed in this ppt it uh, generated all the calls and based on the scores we are selecting this first hypothesis now another thing that is very interesting is like uh, the system is generating the got architecture also like how the systems are identifying uh, different different kind of dependencies in the different different kinds of thoughts so this is the complete graph architecture uh, developed with the help of so this is the summary so here it says that uh, what is the final solution so all the details and all everything that is uh, discussed here so based on that you can uh, use the solution so i think uh, this is very easy to understand